Ho, she's back. She's back. Ah, she's back. She's back. You a bad bitch when I see one. Woo. So re re, I need a threesome. I'm his favorite type of chick. Bougie, bad and thick. Uh, I could buy designer, but this fashion over fit. That ass, that Um, if you follow me on any social media platform, you know I've been in a funky ass mood. Well, <laughs> she's back, and we got the best type of hoe to come back with. Y'all been asking, y'all been asking. I was waiting on a package, and we got the package. So now, what's happening? We got a baddie, birthday baddie, club, slay, try on haul today from y'all know my faves. The best, Fashion Nova Curve, Fashion Nova. And what's even better is we got shoes to go with it too. Um, We're going to see about trying on these shoes on camera. Uh, I mean, my toes are done or whatever, but a big need some lotion. <laughs> So we might have to pause, you know, do a little intermission, <laughs> lotion these feet. Anyway, so who the feet freaks is gonna have a field day with that one? Ooh, Tangia. Anyway, so without enough, that's enough of me rambling. Let's go ahead and jump on into this try on haul. And you guys, if you're a real female in this world, you've seen the movie Mean Girls, and uh, today is October third, and. It's Wednesday, so we're wearing pink. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. It's October 3rd. Now I wanna watch Mean Girls. Oh my God, they better have it on MTV or something. Ooh, okay, for real, for real. So the first piece that I have is this Kim K inspired dress, like it's lit. It is like the perfect, yeah, definitely cutting off the thing, but y'all see it in the clip, I just had to show you real quick. Um, this Kim K inspired cut out dress it is like the perfect thick girl dress. You get your little strip of skin and the material is so freaking stretchy. Girl, 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 girl. And the color's so popping. Y'all know I love bright colors on brown skin. So, you know, I'm just out here highlighting it up in the world and whatnot. So, um, yes, perfect length too. It's like a midi, it's not too short. Um, and I actually tried it on with a strapless bra. The, the top portion is a little bit small to actually wear like my strapless bra for these big jugs. And I actually like it better without the strapless bra. It's tight enough um, to kind of hold the girls together. It's not, I'm not saying they give you any support or anything, but it holds the girls together in this dress and they look, they look presentable. So I'm so here for this dress. Like my mirror's over here, so I'm looking over here. And that girl cute um so yes next moving on like i said these are all birthday baddie club attire so this one is definitely just you know go slay the club and catch you a man for the evening and you know you can also pop out because it's such a bright color you're gonna be attracting all the attention in this pink dress so this next one is gonna be for more of like a formal thing y'all know we like doing these themes for our birthdays and uh Sometimes you want maybe a little more formal occasion or a more dressy occasion, should I say. This dress is sexy than a mug, but it is, you know, a little bit more dressy to me. And we threw it back, you know, a couple of decades ago. We got like shoulder pads in here, but it does it. It does it for this dress. So we have this velvet, long, high cut. It's like a gown. It's a really, really nice dress with a nice semi-deep plunge. It's not completely like... I mean, the girls are out, don't get me wrong, but they're not just like, ba-boom, okay? And this cut is just so pretty. It's a long sleeve, so for all my fall and winter birthdays, this is definitely going to be for you. Um, I would wear this in the club if it was my birthday. Now, if it was just like a normal day that I was going to the club, this would be a bit much. But if it's your birthday at the club, you got yourself a little section, you like, bitch, I'm on this throne in this section here it is. And this, this cut, 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 this cut. Oh, I live for it. I love it. Y'all know I love me a little thigh pop out. Y'all know I'm always here for it. So, again, bomb stretch, bomb quality. And even though it is like velvet, it's not super duper hot. Like, yes, it definitely conforms to the body and it's a long sleeve shirt, a long sleeve dress. So you're completely pretty much covered up besides a little peekaboo of your chest and this little peekaboo of that thigh. It's a great leg dress. If you have like, if your favorite feature of yourself is your legs, this is the one. Now I love a good thigh pop out. I'm not gonna say my legs is all that, but I love a thigh pop out. So yes absolutely here for this dress next we're getting into true birthday true celebratory 
honey, you're it. You are the disco ball. You are the lights of life. You are the light of the eating. You're guiding the way for everyone to see. Wow. You're it. You, it, and this, baby. Shining, 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 yeah. All it is the winning. And this dress, okay, honey. It's new. You got all the sex appeal because it's like a peekaboo. Yes, it's sheer, but you covered in rhinestones. Diamond, 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 diamonds on me dancing. Okay. So we're just shiny. And again, bomb length, good midi. I'm always here for a good midi. Long sleeve, but it is sheer mesh, so it's breathable. You're going to get some air circulating through. It's not going to, you're not going to be too, too hot because it's, it's sheer mesh. Um, talk about catching all the lights. You're catching all the light. Anytime but somebody want to put a flash on, Baby, it's gravitating towards you, okay? Bounce. Bounce. Catch it. Catch the rays. Catch the rays. Catch my glow. Can you catch it? Mm, you're too slow. Sorry. So, again, long sleeve, but like I said, breathable material. And this also has bomb, bomb stretch. And the thing that I worry about sometimes with, like, dresses like these is how are these adhered? Now, I honestly don't know how this is adhered, but sometimes if, if it's not, like, this one's a really good material or a good... I don't know how they put them on, but it's it's good because I put it on, I stretched it all out, did not a one pop off. Now I do have another dress. Oh, I should include that in here. I never included it in a haul, so I'm gonna grab that dress too. Um, these did not come off, so I don't know how they put them on. If it was just like a heat transfer or what, but these aren't budging because your girl got body and we be stretching stuff out. And when you start stretching fabric, you got stuff that's flimsily adhered to items, like they pop off. These one popping off, so it's lit. Um, I do have another one though. I absolutely love the dress. Now, as extra as I am, I glued the whole dress, okay? Cause it was just too bomb. I literally glued the whole dress though. Cause like I put a little, I was trying to get in it. Now, mind you, it probably was too small back then when I had bought it, but I was getting in that damn dress. And I saw some start popping. I said, oh, oh, stop. Flip that hole inside out and glue the entire dress. So let me grab that one real quick because that's a birthday baddie dress too. <laughs> okay, so I don't even know if this dress is still on the site anymore because I bought this months ago. I bought this in like, oh, it was June because I wanted it for the fourth. Yeah, I bought this back in June. It's October now. So I highly doubt it's still on the site, but if it is, um, it's a lit. Uh, it's so freaking colorful. But when I say I literally flipped this whole inside out and glued the whole thing, y'all think it's a game? I glued the entire dress. I was not playing with these rhinestones. I was not. Because let me show you. Like, it's more where they popped off is more noticeable now because the glue kind of seeped through. But before, it, it really wasn't all that bad. But they definitely came off. But I went inside when I saw that little bit. I flipped this mug inside out and I used E6000 glue and I glued the entire dress. From neck to booty all the way through. I glued the entire thing. I used about two big things of E6000 glue. I was not playing with this dress. When I want something to work, by golly, it's gonna work, okay? I did have to air this mug out because it was smelling. Using that much glue, it smelled straight like glue. I had to just let it sit. In air out because I'm like bro I'm gonna go in the clip like what is those fumes I'm in here high off glue <laughs> you're tripping tripping I was not playing I was not playing I don't play when I want it I'm gonna figure out how to make it work I'm, I'm not a lazy dresser I'm definitely not we're gonna make it work but yes this is the dress again bomb length completely sheer Definitely gonna have your girls out. I put some little like cover, nipple covers over them. But it's like snug up here. So it like holds the girls where I need them to be. But you can wear a normal bra. You can wear like um normal like little, you know, cheeky bottoms or whatever. So you can still kind of see, get the little sex appeal, but you're still covered up. I just chose not to wear a bra because it looked cuter to me without a bra. My girls were sitting nice. And I like when they actually have the opportunity to be free. Like I don't, I don't like being confined to a bra. I just don't. So, that one was not really originally part of this, but I had to show y'all because it is a birthday baddie club attire. Let me slay your life. And I, I had to tell y'all how I got it together because 
she ain't going nowhere. Number one, I, I'm definitely not going nowhere because I done glued the whole thing. But she's going to get worn again, okay? Okay. So, moving on. We have this super sleek. It's like really sexy because it reminds me of lingerie. This is a, sh not sheer, not sheer, satin. Them S's. It's a satin e satin stretch gown. Like I probably could have stuck to my normal size because it was satin. I wanted to go up a size because I just didn't know how it was gonna fit, and I wanted to make sure that it did fit. But I definitely could have stuck with the one X in this because the stretch is so good. The length is so bomb. I live for midis. Like I don't. I really try to stay away from mini dresses because my ass is too big. It's too fat. It hikes it up when I walk. I need some space between the bottom of my butt and my thighs so when I walk I, it has some room to maneuver because it's gonna move it's not staying still so this dress is so freaking cute and I love that this satin is a really good stretch has a really good stretch to it um the cup sizes now I'm not gonna say it completely fits the boobs but it doesn't like chop them in half to where it's like you're overflowing and all that extraness so I'm here for it and this gold color just screams birthday girl grab the attention it's like a champagne gold um you can do a lot with this you can wear some print heels with it like you can do a lot because it's so simplistic but still a statement piece so here for it oh and we're always here for adjustable straps always here for adjustable straps always all right keeping it pushing we got a couple more we got a couple more now this right here ah bandage dresses bandage dresses are a thick girl's best friend because baby when you don't want to wear Spanx, you ain't got to. Your dress does it for you. So, and what was cute about this one is it actually came with like these little bottoms. Not that I really feel like you need these bottoms with this dress because the cuts, well, let me not say that. For my thotty, but I don't really need the bottoms. But you know, for normal folks, you probably want these bottoms. And they fit. They actually fit over my rump. I was like, oh girl. Okay, Fashion Nova. I really feel like Fashion Nova is getting better with their sizing on everything. We're going to talk about these shoes in a minute. Um, I really feel like they're getting better with their sizing. I don't know if they're using a different vendor or what if they're man manufacturing their own clothes now because um, I just feel like everything fits better now. I don't know. And I really can just stick to... I really... A lot of things I've been getting an extra large. A 1X extra large is like perfect you no know, regardless of the material nowadays like sometimes i'll be like oh let me size up because it's this material and i'll be like bro i definitely could have got my normal size so peep that note um but yes that's this dress so it has these straps um you can also tuck them i think this will look really cute with uh it tucked in because it does have the little grip on the inside so they're gonna stay put over the boobs i like that it has like the boob cut out but it's not like um lined or anything so again you're not gonna get the cut off situation because i feel like these are kind of small pouches for this size dress but because it's not lined with like wire or anything it's not gonna cut your boob in half or look like it's cutting it in half bomb bomb stretch all of this right here is mesh i don't know if you can tell on this camera this right here is solid but like i said it's a red mesh and it's like a deep red mesh so even when i put it on you can't completely see through it you see more of, it's more like an illusion um so me being the thought that i am um i like the little peekaboo-ness of it so that's why i was saying that i personally probably wouldn't wear these with it but if you want to cover up somewhere that you definitely have these to wear with it it has this double zipper in the back which is really cute detail it zips from the top to the bottom and the bottom ugh, to the top so that's cute um i did see when i was trying it on that it can be a headache i wish that the bottom also had this hook and eye closure so it would stay together because you never know it could just rise up and if it's rising up it's rising up because once it goes over that rump, it's just going to push yourself up to the top. So I may just add that myself because it doesn't have any like closure at the bottom on this bottom zipper to keep it down. If you take a step too wide and start forcing the zipper up or what. So um, actually, now that I'm playing with the zipper, when you pull it all the way down, it kind of locks into place. I still feel like I would feel more secure with a hook and eye right where the zipper starts at the bottom just because i know my body just because i know my body next one shining on them again Woo! yes honey yes now if you if you're watching this now you already saw this on the gram 
is lit. And this is a, actually a mini dress. And it's an extra large, bitch. Who is she? Where is her body going? What's going on? And again, I was skeptical of this dress. I really just got the biggest size that it came in because I think extra large is the largest that it comes in. But I was pleasantly surprised. Let me shut up. I look stupid, but the stretch, the stretch, the stretch. A last stain in this dress. And I'm like, mm, that could probably work. That could probably work. So we went ahead, stepped out on a limb and got it. And baby. E, 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 e. she fits and she looks good this this part right here when i say she press up and hold them girls up and have them looking pretty when now you know the big titty committee we know we know it's a struggle wearing these low plunging type dresses trying to have some any type of support push up control anything they got two little wires right here and how this fits, I think this is just made for my 38 G's. They push and sit. They sit, okay? Sitting with a capital T, S-I-T-T-I-N-G. Sitting, the titties are sitting in this, okay? That rump, sitting, black eye, okay? I don't think y'all ready. And now, and look, it has a zipper side, zipper entrance didn't even know that's how much it stretches so didn't even know until just now i did not unzip a thing i stepped into this wiggled her up and put her over my shoulders okay she got some stretch she's a good one um like i said it's an extra large so i would say if you go back and forth between extra larges and one x this will probably work for you now if you're a one x maneuver two x it may be a little bit show a little bit shout okay because it is a mini not a midi mini okay so and i really like this crisscross detail in the back just really cute just add some a little more detail to this already bomb sparkly shining shimmering dress and to the final piece of this haul well the final dress of this haul and then we'll get into these shoes real quick is this two-piece set now this two-piece set is it's a hit for me but there's some pieces to it that i'm like I'm definitely gonna do my tan band touch on it. So, first things first, we have the top and like crisscrosses um, around your back, and then also has this neck piece, and then it has a midi skirt, bomb stretch on both. Okay, here, calm down. Bomb stretch on both. It's a midi skirt, has a zipper closure to get into the skirt, but like I said, really good stretch. So, I really just step into it and keep it pushing. So, First thing that I would maneuver, because it, it like, like I said, it has, number one, the piece has good stretch, but then it also has this elastic piece on it that has a really, really, really good stretch, which is literally elastic. Um, so it doesn't fit as tight for me as I need it to around my waist. So what I plan on doing is really just chopping this up, which I probably kind of already did already. Taking this apart and either making it like to just tie in the back or just cutting it and then re it to how snug that I need it for me. Um, this neck piece they could have missed me with, but I do like how it's attached on the garment because I can literally just use my seam ripper and take this neck piece off. Um, it is good because it stretches and you can actually get it around your head without any struggle, like messing up your makeup or anything. But it doesn't fit like on my neck and I don't like things on my neck anyway to be choking me. I'll be, it make me hot. I can't. So cute piece, cute choker piece, but it's not chokery enough. If you want the choker piece for me. I don't know if my neck not big enough or what, but I don't like choker pieces anyway. So I'm just going to end up cutting this off. And like I said, I like where it's attached. It's not attached to this outer lining to where you would kind of like mess up this seam. I can either go in neatly, take my time and use a seam ripper and detach it. Or I can just be a mess and cut it because it's on the inside of the garment and you won't see it anyway. Like it has its own situation seam. Like you won't mess up the garment if you just go ahead and cut it off recklessly. So that's what I plan on doing with it. Um, and that's probably how that's how I wore it in my picture that I'm going to post. I just tucked it in and all that because I had to make the video first before I chopped it all up and let y'all see how it looked. So, yes. Now, and these stripes, the stripes, the stripes, the stripes. It's just the stripes are going horizontal. You're going to look slimmer. Horizontal. Vertical. Girl, get it together. Vertical. It does slim you out. Um, horizontal stripes tend to make you look whiter. Vertical stripes make you go, make the eye go up and down, which tends to make you look slimmer. So, 
really cute design really cute color combo it's just really festive and i think there's another color color combo on there like a pink and teal and a yellow maybe both of these sets are really cute so now moving on to the shoes now when i first open the box and like i always get the stuff and i try it on so when i do this portion of it i can speak to how stuff tries on and then i come on here and i can talk about it so when i try them on again in the video you'll be able to see well these shoes to see but when i first tried these shoes on i thought all of them were too big but then i started trying them on again i was actually walking around with both of them on i'm like oh so i don't know how i feel or if i should i, I don't know because what i was gonna say is i don't know if they if fashion nova is making their own shoes now or who's getting their shoes or what's what's going on with their shoes but normally when i order heels i always order a 10 because my feet are flat and wide so really i'm like an eight and a half but usually in like tennis shoes i usually get kids with like a seven and a half which is like an eight something in women's or if i do get women's it'll be between an eight and a half or a nine just because they're usually pretty narrow it really just depends on how the shoe fits but when I, whenever i order heels offline and i can't try them on prior to i always get a 10 just to be safe um, because that usually tends to fit my foot better um, but when i was trying these on when i was sitting down they all looked too big i'm like oh this is gonna hurt my foot but then when i was walking around trying them on, i'm like mm, these actually might be legit so i think i'm gonna stick with with ordering a size up just to be safe because if i really want the shoe to fit and i want to be comfortable walking and wearing it around um i feel like the size up usually works for me so let's go through these shoes this first pair i got is these like patent leather black now i had filmed a video a year ago maybe two years ago <laughs> i'm a real youtuber now i don't know how long i've been on here <laughs> but uh making videos and i made a fat girl's heel hack video and i still stick by every fat girl heel hack that i put in that video i normally always go for the black heels the chunky heels they're easier for me to walk in they're just easier i can wear them longer if I know we're not going to have a section and we're just going to the club, I'll be okay. Um, so yeah. And then what's even better about this one, it has a little platform. So that gives you even more of an arch that your foot is going on to. So it makes it easier for you to walk in. This clear strap, I have another pair of heels from Fashion Nova that have like this clear strap, the Cinderella ones. Those are not comfortable to me at all. The, the vinyl was just too thin. It doesn't really hold your foot in place. This one is thicker. It's like the other pair of shoes that I have from them um they're black and they have like a clear strap here and on the ankle and it's thicker so it's a lot easier to walk in the thin vinyl will not do it does not hold your foot in place so it's literally like you're trying to keep the sole on your foot these look really big my my feet are just wide and flat but anyway so that's the first pair we'll see if i try these on on this video just the feet freaks I just can't. the feet freaks um there are a couple single like a skinny sole heels in this video because i be needing them for pictures like i don't really go nowhere y'all like i go somewhere every now and again but i be needing cute shoes like i just want a closet full of line like lined with cute cute ass shoes so this is the new heel style though this wide but not chunky like this is new i just started noticing this and this is cute definitely gives you more support than like you know a traditional pump heel um the clear strap you know that's just gonna be in it just goes with a lot of different things and this little toe detail is really cute we got a little lace up around the ankle situation really cute really cute and this arch is not super duper high and like i said you're gonna get more support with this type of heel so if they start making heels like this oh we may be able to do some more different styles because i really usually only go for chunky if it's not chunky i'm not getting it if i really plan on wearing it anywhere i'm not getting it I do have a couple pair here that uh definitely played myself up. We're, we're gonna take some, we're gonna snap it up. Bet your bottom dollar that. Okay. Oh, oh, we got the Cinderella heel. These are actually really, really cute, and these are really comfy. I'm really glad that I got this size. Um, I do like now, y'all all know that these type of heels they be fogging up. But what's cool about these, they have like the little they some little holes in them, so you get some exhaust let your feet breathe i really feel like i might punch some more on this other side and maybe some down here by the toe because we don't have time for foggy shoes we don't have time we don't have time we don't have time but this cinderella heel is so freaking cute and i love these type of shoes because they just literally go with everything and because it's not super high um 
the comfort is a lot better and the arch is not that high so these are actually pretty comfortable heels even though you have a more of a skinny heel it's fatter up here and thins out but it's still not as thin as like a traditional pump so here for it literally goes with everything because it's clear it's like you're just it's a cinderella shoe so next we have a nude pair of just like the first black ones i showed you um i like them but i don't like them just because it's a patent leather so i'm really not feeling this nude it it makes me feel like ashy like i like them and i will wear them there's outfits that i need them for but I just wish it was just a little bit darker of a nude blush tone. I don't know if you're able to tell on here. But it's just really light to me. Like, it's nude. It's a true nude. I just want it to be, like, a shade darker. But there's definitely fits that I need this shoe for. And, again, this thicker vinyl keeps you together, okay? Okay. Next, these are one of the ones I wanted so freaking bad. Uh, But the arch is so freaking high and the heel is so freaking skinny. These will definitely be picture-only shoes. I do not see myself wearing these anywhere i will definitely play myself but it's so cute these brown snake print lace up oh uh, they're so cute but do y'all see this arch though the heel's not really not that high but this arch is about as high as the heel okay my foot is flat so doing doing that that, that shit hurt walking trying to walk around so these will be walk to your picture spot stop hold on to somebody put these mugs on take your pictures and then take these joints off. I do not see myself walking around in these. I really don't. The arch was just entirely too high for my flat foot itself. But they're so cute. And you know, beauty is pain. And uh, this is what girls do. And um, yeah. <laughs> so the final pair of shoes. This one too. This one you do have some more support. But baby, I don't know. I think I just have a snake print fetish right now. And then I realized I picked this mini snake print. Yes. But anyway all right so i don't know where i left off on what i was saying because my camera overheated and it cut off on me but i've been having a thing for snake print everything lately that's why i have three pairs of snake print heels in a one haul i'm a joke a whole joke but um yeah so these aren't terrible terrible as far as like comfort goes but still with this traditional traditional heel i cannot be a 100 percent fan they cute in a mug they lit AF. But me and these do not get along. We're not going to last for long. We're not going to last for long. But you definitely have some more control, some more support since it is a cage chill. And it's not just like a single sole. You know, this one strap and the strap over your toe. So you have a little bit more control. Um, a little bit more support. Comes up higher on the leg. It's better. Arch is still, still pretty steep still pretty steep for my flat foot itself so um yeah that is all for this haul i hope you enjoyed this birthday baby close leg try on haul from the one the oh, fashion over my absolute faves they literally have everything everything and i really feel like they're getting better as time goes along um I, the main things I be hearing now is more so about shipping. I hear customer service has gotten better, a little bit quicker with replies. Um, you know, when stuff get on them shelves, they be because they they growing, y'all. They growing. So once you see it, you gotta go. Okay, you got to go. Easiest way to shop on there, literally what I do, because y'all know I have this color story theme going for my Instagram feed. Whenever I'm going to go pick out items from Fashion Nova, whatever color I'm doing, I literally go on the search bar, type in my color easiest way for me to shop if you ever see anything like post it on my instagram and i don't list the names because sometimes i know them sometimes i don't sometimes i'll take the time if i have time i'll go look for it and put it in the caption sometimes i don't type in what it looked like if it looked like a pink spandex dress type that in the search bar their search engine on fashion nova is pretty darn good okay type in lime green it's going to show you everything that's lime green or has green in the title type in spandex nylon it's gonna show you a whole bunch of different items that have that so easiest way to shop on there get it when you see it because it's gonna be gone especially in your size like it'll be like every other size but yours so get it when you see it make sure you use my code chief 10 when you shop at fashion nova and i believe it does work on the men's too because i know i have um some men that follow me for whatever reason if you want to go shop they have fashion nova oh Dag never they got fashion over plus size men. So any fine thick men out there that's wanting to do a collab with me, I would love to make that happen because I ain't got no man. 
but I really want to do a collab because their clothes are lit and I just need to dress my man in something fine or a man in some fine fashion note because fashion note they try they coming for everybody okay they're coming for everybody in every room of the fashion industry all right so now that I'm done with that little panic attack I just had and a little hype up like girl calm down it's just close yeah I know but this is what I do so anyway Thank you guys so much for tuning back into my channel and I will see y'all in the next one. Stay true. Damn daddy, you fine as hell. I hope you all got condoms in it. I'm up, she mad, I'm first, she last. Yeah. Rub who, take what, click clack, ski mask. I'm a boss in the skirt. I'm